Model Amy Lefebvre has revealed that she was pressured into wearing bizarre racist accessories for a fashion show at the Fashion Institute of Technology in New York City. It baffles my mind that this kind of thing happened at a fashion school, but also that a model was pressured to wear something that she was uncomfortable with. It's tea time on Inform Overload. I'm Charlotte. On this channel, we tell you about trending topics. By the way, I'm the resident talker on this channel and queen of all things potatoes, so subscribe so you're the first to find out what's trending. And you should also check us out on social media. All our links are posted in the description of this video. Amy Lefebvre has been a model for four years and has walked on over two dozen catwalks. During her time in the industry, she's experienced bigotry before, but she's never experienced something quite like the fashion show that took place at the Fashion Institute of Technology on February 7th. She told the New York Post, I stood there, almost ready to break down, telling the staff that I felt incredibly uncomfortable having to wear these pieces, and they were clearly racist. As you can see from these photos, um, yeah, those are... Pretty racist. Pretty racist, not gonna lie. Holy shit, I feel very uncomfortable looking at those pictures. Anybody else? Amy said that the staff said it was fine to feel uncomfortable for 45 seconds. It's not 45 seconds though, like it's not. <laughs> like sure, the catwalk is 45 seconds, but that shit's on the internet forever. Forever! These fashion shows are photographed and the costumes have caused a lot of backlash on social media. Imagine being a black model who put that costume on and walked the runway. Lefebvre added, I was literally shaking. I could not control my emotions. My whole body was shaking. I've never felt like that in my life. People of color are struggling too much in 2020 for the promoters not to have vetted and cleared accessories for the shows. Amy ended up walking the runway, but as you can see from this photo, she chose not to wear the monkey ears and bright red lips that supposedly were part of an adult toy. Amy stormed out of the fit event after the show. She told her agency, which is Q Model Management, and they said that they were furious at the time. But then when they were asked to comment, a rep for Q Model Management told the New York Post that they received conflicting reports about the show and said Amy's recollection of events was unreliable. In response, Amy said that they don't want their name to be anywhere near the scandal. So this styling shot, if you can call it that in the top right hand corner of this photo, was taken before the show, a few days before. That is what she would have looked like walking the runway. The event was directed by Jonathan Kyle Farmer, professor and chair of the MFA fashion design program and produced by Richard Thorne, creator of British fashion company Names LDN, who Amy said tried to strong arm her into wearing the outfit repeatedly. This show is intended to showcase the work of the 10 alumni students from the FIT Master of Fine Arts class in fashion design. It was also an event meant to showcase the 75th anniversary of FIT. The designs in particular that's causing this controversy were made by graduate Zheng Kai Huang, who was from China, and he didn't seem to understand the racial undertones of his work or overtones, I should say. He said the original concept was supposed to showcase the ugly features of the body. Other models in the show who weren't African American wore the outfit. A student who spoke under condition of anonymity told the Post, we brought it up to Thorne multiple times. We said she cannot wear this, this is wrong. At which point Thorne said, you need to back down and get away. Several other students objected to the costumes to the director of the show, Kyle Farmer, the day before the show. But as you can see, the show went ahead as planned. The only person who had has commented on this story so far to the press is Dr. Joyce F. Brown, FIT president, who said this program protects the students' freedom to craft their own personal and unique artistic perspectives as designers, to be even what some would consider to be provocative so that they find that voice. However, provocative design and fashion might be through. My commitment to ensure people are not made to feel uncomfortable, offended, or intimidated is also of the utmost importance, not only to me personally, but to the college community as well. We take this obligation very seriously and will investigate and take appropriate action regarding any complaint or concern that is made in this situation. Everybody getting fired! I want everybody fired! The fashion industry is known for doing some pretty offensive and like tone deaf like the $800 Gucci turban, which is supposed to be sacred to Sikhs, that they put on white models. And also the Gucci blackface sweater. Who could forget that one? Sometimes I feel like brands do this in order to get media attention because like they're pretty much irrelevant other than that. I don't know. <laughs> Pretty much free press. Because they keep doing it. It could be that brands are just out of touch, which is what they've been accused of. Huge brands like Burberry, Prada, Gucci, and Chanel have created new positions like a global head of diversity, equity, and inclusion. So maybe they're trying to deal with the fact that they're so tone deaf, but I mean, one can't deny that these kind of mess ups do end up in the news. So as always, I wanna know your thoughts on this story down in the comments. For now, I'm gonna wrap things up with some comment features from my video. Former Diva Curl influencers are losing their hair. MSC said, can I lose body hair showering with these? 
That is a really good point. I wonder. Hmm. Iosa said, I am a dude and I am bald. What am I doing here? I am here for the tea. I got you, boo. That's it for me. Thanks for watching. Leave a like on this video if you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you want more. I'll see you in a future IO video. Oh, <laughs>